Yeah, he's fine. I mean, in that particular moment, a guy gets hit in the arm, and then he throws that first pitch and really yanks it. So I was concerned when I saw that. And my message to him was, okay, even if you could finish this inning, more than likely, you're going to go in, sit down, it's going to swell up, you got to get ice on it. You're probably not going back out the next inning anyhow. So why mess with it right now? Why make him throw more pitches? That was the message. He, um, he knew. He knew he wasn't right. He knew it was going to get sore. So that's what we did. Uh, he's, um, uh, uh, apparently, there's nothing wrong, as, as we know it right now. I don't know how long it's going to take for him to be well again to be able to pitch, but he's fine. Joe, it looked like the bullpen was just kind of set up perfectly for you, left, right, left, right, and it worked out maybe exactly how you drew it up. Yeah, of course, uh, Woody hitting the home run was part of the plan. Um, Ron, I, I did put him in there because he was, he was coming up second. That was part of it. Did not want to pinch it there, obviously, with the two lefties at the top of the batting, what I thought was a good spot for him. He did really well. He's been throwing the ball. He saw the numbers on the board. It's getting back up to 92 and sometimes 93 with his fastball. So he'd been pitching a lot for us. I was riding him a little bit too hard. Uh, we backed off towards the latter part of the year. Right now, he's got his energy and his arm strength back, and he was very good. And then you could just talk about the whole group, CJ, outstanding, and um, Montgomery, uh, you know, very, very good. The curveball was pertinent uh, to both sides. And then Rondon, it was nice to see Ronnie come in there against two really good hitters. And of course, Chappie's been throwing the ball well. So. You knew that, again, that's part of the playoff situation with the day off the next day. You could be a little bit more liberal with a lot of these different things you may want to attempt to do. Although you still only have seven guys in the back of your mind, extra innings, extra innings, keeping people back. So the way it, it eventually turned out where we did not have to use Strope or Grimm was a good moment, knowing that we could get to Rondon and then Chapman and keep these guys back. Yes, sir. Joe, that uh, might happen with Cal tonight, but that, that single – the, knocking a couple of runs there with oh, yeah. the bases loaded. Um, can you just describe what you saw and, and what kind of boost that was? You saw once again why Hoppy's such a good base runner. Um, he even on the play before that, he was trying to move the runner in front of him. He knew it was down, but on that one, he definitely knew it was down the moment it was hit. Great read. And he's pushing Jason in front of him, and he scores. I'm probably 90 some percent of our guys would not have scored like he did on that particular play. And I would say throughout the industry, most guys would not have scored on that play. They would have hesitated. They would not have read it the way that he did. Uh, then, of course, he made the, 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 the gap on the play where he gets eventually the call. Call gets overturned, which I still want to see the, the, the video of that. Um, but anyway, this guy is incredible. I've talked about his instincts and his acumen on the field. It's just different. Other questions? Yeah. Right up here. We'll get you. So what can you say about um, Travis? He's a guy that got here on the ground floor of the rebuilding. He lost his job as a starter last year, didn't complain to us about it, and now he's kind of redefined himself. What can you say about what he's contributed here the last two years? Well, he's been outstanding. I mean, I, you know, we lean on him a lot, as you can see, just based on appearances. Um, when he's right, he's good against both lefties and righties, uh, and he's been getting back to that point right now. Uh, he's, he's also he's a leader in the clubhouse. People don't even talk about Travis, but a lot of guys go to him. Uh, for different issues, and they, they lean on Travis a lot. He's got a, a great personality, as you know. He's very calm. He's the kind of guy who likes to sit on the back porch all winter. He's, that's what he does. And uh, So when he goes out there to play, even in the tightest situation, he's very comfortable with it. He takes his batting practice. He looks for those opportunities, and then he uh, sees it today. Other questions? Here, first row. Yes, sir. You, uh, you ran through the, the whole bullpen uh, a, little, a little while ago, but how, how great was it to see the young guys, Edwards and Montgomery, in, in such a big spot come up the way they did? It's, it's very large. Uh, moving forward, uh, this is uh, you know, the second game, although would have done it no differently, I don't think, uh, based on just the way their lineup was constructed, just trying to figure out Strope and Ronnie for the latter part of the game. Um, it was really important to just use – CJ the way we did, and that the fact that Montgomery threw strikes as well as he did. But to get those guys, um, get them off the ground a little bit, make sure that they understand the playoffs at home, uh, I thought was very important. And to do as well as they did moving forward. So second game of the playoffs, I think that's probably their, CJ wasn't in last year, was he? No. So that's their real first taste in all this, and um, that definitely makes them a little bit more comfortable the next time out. Pedro? Pedro. Joe, you've seen the Giants trail 0-2 and come back to win a series. What is it about them that enables them to do that? And what's your message to your club up 
Well, they're, they're, they're pros, man. I mean, I've, I've said it from very, the, the very first day, the respect I have for that group. Uh, I know, I've known Boach for a while. Uh, you hear their comments, or you, you watch how they react at different moments. They're, they're never panicked. They're never, they're never concerned. So um, you're right. Uh, the, the message, again, is going to be once, well, what game 164 or 5 on uh, Monday. Um, I'm not going to, I'm really not into um, sending out anything extraordinary right now. Just to continue to play the same game. Uh, I, I really believe our guys will come ready to play knowing that they are also. That's just a given. Uh, but there's nothing you can do about it except play the game. I mean, control the controllables. We'll do our work. We'll prepare. And then it's Jake. I mean, we're in a pretty good, they have a nice pitcher. We have a nice pitcher going on that day. It should be another fun evening.